Today we are going for a little hike. Am I ready for it? Probably not, but uh, what the heck. So for some reason, there's a lot of helicopters passing by here today. Not very peaceful. What is up you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm now here right now passing through Chestnut Nature Park. We just passed by the observation tower. And uh, if you haven't watched that vlog, I actually did a vlog at Chestnut. I'll leave a link here if you want to go check it out. But today, we're just going out for a hike and to see how far I go down south. Yeah, I think it's south. Aside from the helicopters that's passing by, I truly enjoy this trail. <laughs> I think I said this the last time, that um, this place is a long trail, but uh, very raw. <laughs> now, the reason I'm doing a little hike today is because I think you guys miss this. And I think you guys miss the outdoor vlogs. So, gotta mix and match. I am definitely not wearing the right shoe for this. <laughs> You should always come here with hiking boots. But you guys, isn't this beautiful or what? <laughs> nature on the right, nature on the left. This will probably be the last time you see me wear my mask outdoors. <laughs> yes guys, as of today when you watch this video, we do not need to wear masks in Singapore outdoors anymore. Yeah, so when we are outside, no more masks. It's optional. <laughs> For now, it is actually mandatory. But by the time this video comes out, no more mask. Yeah, no more mask when you're outdoors. Right now, if you're working out, yeah, you can take off the mask. And in this case, I'm working out. It's a hike. Yeah, our Prime Minister just made the announcement yesterday. And uh, yeah, from the 29th of March, no more mask outdoors. Also, from the 1st of April, coming in to Singapore, as long as you're vaccinated, you're free to come into Singapore. No quarantine, and I'm not sure about the testing because they're still figuring it out. So, but I believe there will definitely be ART tests. No more PCR tests, which is cheaper. I guess why I enjoy coming out here to nature is that you don't know what to expect. You don't know what to see, and anytime, something might just pop out from the bush. Although at this rate, I don't think anything is going to be popping out today. Oh, come on! It's literally just passing by me right now. It's scaring nature away, guys. So chestnut completed. Now I'm heading down the road and we're going to find dairy farm. Yeah, continuing on. I'm not gonna lie mate, I'm pretty hammered, you know what I mean? <sighs> so before we reach to Dairy Farm, we have to pass through Bilu Car, Bilu Car Trail. This is the uh, huh. Bilu Car Trail, Bilu Car Trail. Well, this is definitely the first for me. I've never come this way before. <sighs> it's always good to try something new. And today, today this is new for me. Whew. Monitor lizard. 
Can you see? Uh, uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill we go. And look. Ah, yeah. It has definitely got the best out of me. Someone commented. They didn't think that Singapore have nature trails like that. Yeah, we do. I mean, it's not huge like compared to what you have in other countries, but uh, it's pretty decent. And I feel like parks and nature trails should be like that. This should be the way. And they should keep it this way. <laughs> Cause it's cool. It feels like an adventure every time. <laughs> but uh, ideally, this should not be the shoes I should be wearing. <laughs> I mean, the Nike Air Max is fine, but you want something more rugged. And because the ground is unbalanced, like you get rocks here and there, then you want something a little bit hardy so that you don't twist your ankles. This, I might twist my ankles. There it is, the Luca Trek. Now, is it here or is it here? I look through the map. It is actually a loop, so it doesn't matter which trail you take. It all comes back to the same point. <laughs> well, good to know. So the one thing good about Singapore is that you will never get lost. Just walk all the way on one direction, you'll see something. <laughs> or just use Google Maps, because everywhere we have phone signals. No worries. It's not like Pulau Ubin. Pulau Ubin is far from Singapore. It's an island away from Singapore. So sometimes the reception there, not very good. But here, no problem. I got full bars on my phone. <laughs> oh look, squirrels. How cute. Wow. Oh, that's a nice squirrel. Can you see? <laughs> hey, hey. If you're the type that loves mountain biking, then this is probably heaven for you. Because I've seen a couple of mountain bikes going up and down this trail. Bumpy, off-trail roads. Yeah, because uh, once in a while you get rocks like that or you get rocks like this. So we've come to the end here and down here it says Hillview Park Connector, which is under this highway. And let's check it out then. Ow, ow, ow. Man, I tell you, these rocks, these are hard, sharp rocks. But uh, yeah, on top, this is the highway. And let's see where we can go from here. Okay, Dairy Farm Nature Park. But this is fun. <laughs> oh, what a workout. See, this is what workout should be like. It should be fun, adventurous, and you don't feel too tired. Well, I'm tired, but I can keep going. <laughs> I feel. Oh, rocky, rocky path. Yeah, definitely good for mountain biking. My God, this trail just keeps going and going and going. And so am I. I just keep going and going and going. To be honest, I don't know how long I can last. <laughs> for now, I'm still okay. I'm still good. right over here. This is the pipeline trail, but um, we're not going to do the pipeline trail today. We are going to go to Dairy Farm, which is on this corner here, right here. <laughs> now this pipeline trail over here and over here is kind of popular, but it's mostly an open view following an old pipeline. Well, actually, it's not old. It still exists. But I feel like this, this is a little bit more interesting. <laughs> a small little bridge over the river. Can you see? Well, oh, small little river over there. And continuing the trail. <sighs> no joke, guys. The mosquitoes here, they are terror, man. <laughs> they, I've already got bitten on the finger a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What the hell? Guys, look at this. Cyclists, this way. 
hiking this way. Oh no, this mountain push this way. Okay, okay. Because I saw like there's two trails. So I think this is for cyclists and you don't have to dismount and push. And here, if you're a cyclist, you have to dismount and push. But here, this way is for hiker. So let's go. It's good that we have the option to hike and ride. <laughs> yeah, this is something I appreciate about Singapore. And I'm glad this area here, no more helicopters. Well, actually you could still hear them in the distance a bit, but uh, I don't think it would affect the audio. Not like before. You guessed it guys, that's uphill. Very steep uphill climb. Woo! would you look at that sign? That's an old sign. All right, so we are here right now and there's no more walking trail. We have to take the road to here because this trail, no paths allowed and no hiking on mountain bike trails. So you gotta respect the rules. On the road we go. At this point, I don't know how many kilometers I've done. Probably seven, probably eight, I don't know. Because I just went from one nature park to another, to another, and I'm not even thinking about the distance. I'm not gonna care about it. Because I got my water bottle right here, and oh yeah, I got a new bag. And this is a crumbler bag. It's, um, it's very useful, it's very handy. It feels very small, very compact, and lightweight as well. Wow, you guys, look at all these walls. These are like ancient walls. We are now at the Wallace Trail. They call this the Wallace Trail. But uh, look guys, these are old structures. Can you see? Very old. Now you can see there are some kampong life here in the past. Village, kampong is like village, see? So there used to be some sort of village over here and durian plantation. <laughs> yeah. Oh my, more uphill. You guessed it. All right, up here we go. My God, it feels like I'm climbing a mountain. Woo. I know, you guys, you guys are probably annoyed with me that uh, I enjoy hiking, but I complain about all the uphill climbs and whatever. No, I like it, but it is, it is killing me. <laughs> I'm well worked out today. Oh, not gonna lie, <laughs> it is quite a challenge, but uh, very nice, very beautiful. Gotta keep going. Okay, okay, it is downhill now, but beautiful. Nature all around, amazing. I'm pretty fortunate to be here on this nature park by myself or at least not a lot of people. Very fortunate. It's very nice and peaceful and calming to walk on this trail. You know when you work out and you keep sweating and sweating and sweating and then when you come to a point where you keep working out and no matter how much you work out, you stop sweating. I think I've passed beyond that point. So I can see why this trail only opens till 7 p.m. because after seven, it's illegal to come here. This trail here, it's very raw. Like, <laughs> you don't see like huts around, you don't see like toilets around, no. <laughs> At night, it's probably wow. It's probably a big party <laughs> for the animals, not us. This Wallace Trail, not bad. You think I got a good workout? Woo! Wallace Trail completed, and now we made it to Dairy Farm Nature Park. Oh no, we see some construction in front. But would you look at this tree? So, Palmer, this trail, this is for mountain bike. This is not for hiking, so we can't use this. <laughs> well, I guess that's pretty much it. That's the end. Singapore borders have opened up. If you're from overseas and if you want to come here for holiday, come, as long as you are vaccinated. We are open up. As for me, well, I gotta wait for the other countries to open up, the other surrounding countries. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Please remember to subscribe and hit the bell and also don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it. Leave your comments down below if you have any questions and share my video as well. And I will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya! I can't believe I did that all in one take. <laughs> Usually I'll forget something. Like either the like, or the subscribe, or the bell, or the comment, or sharing. Usually I forget one of them. Just in case if some of you ask me, why did I not go on a mountain bike trail? Well, 
The sign for one says, don't. Second, it is not safe for hikers to be hiking on the mountain bike trails because mountain bikes, they go uphill so fast and then coming downhill, they need to be fast as well because it's a momentum kind of thing. You can ask any mountain bikers, that's what they do, that's how they train. So if you're hiking on a mountain bike trail and suddenly a mountain bike comes in and they are not expecting you because they are not supposed to have hikers there, then it's very dangerous because it's hard for the mountain biker to break in time and not hit you. And it's also hard for the hikers themselves to avoid them. So as much as you can, try to avoid mountain bike trails. I can't vlog with all this helicopter flying past by. <laughs> uh, he keeps going and going and going. That must be some sort of like military training or something now. 